Okay, so we're gonna assemble the overhead bracket here to attach to the, the overhead pipe. First step, uh, we have the two brackets here, the saddle bracket, um, other bracket that attaches to the pipe itself. Now to attach these two together, we have the two holes on each side. We're going to slide the top bracket so that that part is on the inside. And then we have our bolts over here. Now for each of these bolts, each of these uh, four attachments here, we're gonna go bolt, lock washer, washer. And it's gonna come in, you can go inside or outside. I have to go in from the outside. Go in this way and on the inside we have washer and then one of the larger nuts here and you just screw that in now i'll just hand tighten for now bolt lock washer washer slide that in from the outside washer nut And you can see I have my two tools next to me. We're gonna need the 916 socket um, and then a wrench to hold the other side as we tighten those. Now, the key is for this process that I've learned to make it a lot easier is you can see once you have these on there, this angle of the saddle can go up and down like this. When you're on the pipe, we'll, we'll usually assist with this step. It would be the last thing before calibration. We're gonna need that at a certain angle so that we see certain amount of distance in front of home plate. Um, the reason I say this is you want to tighten these up right now, but usually what I do is I'll tighten them up just to a point where they're almost as tight as possible. So you don't have to go all the way, max effort right now, but if you get it to a certain point, all four of these, what you're able to do is get this tight enough so that it almost stays in place, even when the sensor is on at a later point. And it's gonna make it a lot easier on the phone with us to finalize that angle and just do a one final tighten when you're up on the ladder, when you're actually uh, getting this thing ready for calibration. So point is just get them so they're pretty much all the way tight. You don't wanna go max effort just to a point where it's enough where this thing is pretty stable there, but you can still move it up and down. Okay, so now we have the brackets put together. We're gonna, for our next step, put on these L brackets. This is gonna help us attach the front Lexan shield. The way we do this, if you look at it, you have a short side, long side. What's gonna happen is you're gonna go on the inside, say I'm gonna start with the right one here, the inside with the long side, you're gonna come in from your right side and attach it, and that leaves the short side in the front that the Lexan is gonna attach to. And all you need for this, for each side, two of these black screws with the lock washers, that require a Phillips head. Now I just have a, a manual Phillips head for this. I, I definitely recommend for, for the kiosk, for the putting these together, have some sort of drill. It just makes things go by a lot quicker, a lot less strain on you guys. But for now, I'll just hand tighten them. So two screws here and then two on the other side. It's all set. And if you want to come over here, you can take a look at what that should look like before we attach the Lexan. So again, long sides of the L brackets on the side, short sides in the front, four holes ready to attach that front Lexan to. Now, the front Lexan is the one that has the two windows on it because those are going to be what the cameras look through. Before we attach this, we want to start attaching some of these bumpers. So we'll take three Excuse me, three of these bumpers, three of these screws with the lock washers. And we're gonna attach to these three holes right here. Don't worry about this bottom middle hole. All we're gonna care about is top two, top middle. All right, now we're ready to attach it. So you have the three bumpers on the inside. Now there's a lot of holes you'll see on each side of this front Lexan shield. Once you put it up against it, you'll see the only four holes that we need are just the two on the outside of each side. Now I'm gonna attach those with four more of these screws. Okay. 
Now we're ready to go with those. If you want to come over here, you can take a look at what that looks like. So we have two on each side attaching to those L brackets. And then you can see I put those four bumpers on the inside. Now this is ready to attach up top. So what I like to do with this, make things a lot easier. You have your overhead pipe. You're going to put these U-bolts on and then just slightly tighten them just enough so that they're attached to this. So now what happens, you can see from the side, the U-bolt's coming out the back, is you can come up, up on the ladder, up on your scissor lift, whatever you're using, and slide these right up the pipe. Now, we'll have pictures, we'll have some other information on where exactly in the pipe and things like that, but you wanna leave about probably one to two inches of space in the bottom. Um, you can put a bolt across for extra protection, things like that, but once you slide it up, you're gonna tighten on the top with your socket wrench here so you'll be attaching to the pipe try to envision the pipe right here hand tighten drill whatever you're using there um, you want to make sure those are as tight as possible obviously that's what's going to be holding up these brackets the sensor and everything and then from there once you have this on the pipe the advantage of having this Lexan shield on first is you can take your sensor and you're up there you got to make sure you get the hitch tracks in the front everything facing down you can actually slide this from the out back going down the front and because everything's so tight in there it's going to sit nice and gently right up against those bumpers and this will make it so you're not you know you need to have two three people up there at the same time it makes it very easy just to slide this in and then from there you're going to attach your bottom pieces here you'll see some of these bumpers have the the thread going right there and that's what attaches the hit track sensor to this bottom bracket here the saddle bracket so then you screw these in one by one. A little trick here with this angle. And now, your hit track and your bracket safely attached to your pipe up top. Now if you look from the side here, if you can imagine the pipe coming down like this, this is kind of why you want to have maybe just one or two uh, inches of space on the bottom of that pipe just so it's not going to be coming all the way down hitting the back of the sensor you want to give some space to allow the the angling and access to the cords and plug-ins and everything on the back and then the last step you'll see there's one more lexan shield this is another step where you want to put on some bumpers beforehand and you'll see there's there's four holes there's the four in the middle and there's two on the outside you do just want to put on two of these bumpers before placing it up there it's the two bumpers on the outside. So it looks like this when you're bringing it up to up the ladder, up the lift to attach to the bottom of the sensor. And again, just so you can envision it, this is what it's going to look like on the pipe. And then when you're coming up the ladder, you'll have access to the bottom pretty easily. You just kind of reach up. All you do, come up like this, push up against these bumpers, and you'll see that as long as you put the the side with more space up against this you have pretty much no space up from the bottom of this lexan to the bottom of this lexan and then you just take the four screws remaining should have some extras actually just in case but four more screws and attach like this and that's it this is what it will look like up on the pipe so it'll be hanging you got the front Lexan, bottom Lexan, U-bolts ready to go. And at this step, you just start getting the cords in there, power cord in the back. You see the PC sign for the Ethernet cord going to the PC, the computer. And at that point, you're ready for calibration. So that's when you contact us, uh, call us up. We can help with that angle that I, that I mentioned earlier, plus the final calibration. Thanks.